The most important thing about print and cut is to watch your machine register. If you don't watch this video the whole way through, that is the single most important thing that I want you to take away from this video. If your machine does not register print and cut correctly, it will not cut correctly. In this video, I'm going to go over print and cut step by step to help you set it up, print, register, cut, all correctly. My name is Kelly and let's get clacking. Making sure that your page is set up correctly is really, really important. So we're going to go over all of the settings step by step to make sure that we can help you out. When we go into Silhouette Studio, we're going to first need to start with our page setup. Now, depending on where you are in the world, you will probably be using either an A4 format or you'll be using an eight and a half inch by 11 inch page. It shouldn't matter which of the two you use, as long as you make sure that what you are setting up in Silhouette Studio is the same as what your printer settings are, which we will go over at a later stage. But if you're used to using 8.5 by 11 inches, or if you're used to using A4, you can stick with those. I I'm in South Africa, so I'm going to stick with A4 for now, and so I'm going to change the media size to A4. I'm going to leave the cut border on, but I'm also going to show the print border, because that is the edge of where my printer is able to print, so I need to make sure that all of my registration marks are within this grey border. I'm going to turn my grid off, just to make sure that we can see that a lot clearer. As we can see, here is a grey line, that is the edge of your print border, and the red line is the edge of your cut border. Next. Next, we're going to navigate to the page registration marks. That is the third tab on the page setup and we're going to click on that one and we're going to toggle them on. Now with this one you can print it just on default if you like, but for me I like to make a few changes here and there. The length is something that some people tend to make a lot shorter and what you have to remember about making your length of your registration marks shorter is yes you absolutely can get a registration with short registration marks but the problem is your room for error is significantly larger because your registration marks are so small the chances that your cameo absolutely will pick it up are much smaller as well so for me i don't like to have my registration marks too small i like to leave it at the default setting or around one and a half to two centimeters bearing in mind that the larger your length is the more space on your page you lose because you cannot place anything in this crosshatch area you do lose a little bit of space but for me personally, I'd rather lose a little bit of space on the page and make sure that my page registers as opposed to gaining that space on the page and then I end up losing an entire page because the Cameo hasn't registered correctly. The next one is another one that I like to change as well and that is the thickness. So these black lines over here, it changes the actual weight of the line, so, so the actual thickness of the line. I like to make mine all the way up to one point. It makes your chances slightly higher that the page registers correctly. So for me personally, I like to increase the thickness to make sure that I'm getting the registration correctly. Inset, that is the space between this red line and the edge of the page. So you can decrease the inset if you like, but I would not recommend decreasing the inset and decreasing the length of the page of the registration marks. I would recommend doing one or the other, so you would leave the length of the registration marks as they are and potentially decrease the inset if you want to gain a little bit more space on the page. Then we have the orientation. I leave mine at default, I don't see the need of having it as inverted, so if you have found a use for that then by all means, but for me I don't like to do that. Print bleed is something that you want to use if you are wanting to get a perfect cut around the item that you are cutting. So as an example, let's say we have a star and then we take that star and we're going to fill it with a pattern. Okay, let's just use a default pattern here. And I'm gonna go back to the page registration marks and print bleed is on. So if you wanted to cut the star and make sure that there was no white border around the edge, if we zoom in, what print bleed will do is it'll take the last pixel of color and it will extend that when you're printing the, where the page by 0.127 centimeters. So if we have to go into our print preview just to show you what it'll look like, if we can zoom in a little bit more, you can see there obviously it's a little bit grainy so we can't see exactly but I'm sure you, you can tell what I mean, especially if we look here, you can see uh, this is where the edge of the line would be, the edge of the, the cut mark, and that little section there will be your print bleed. Now you can see it a little bit more clearly up here, there's a little bit of a, a mirror to the edge of the object. 
So if you're wanting to make sure that you get a perfect cut, you can use that print bleed. Most of the time we don't mind having an image offset. So we would then take this object, go to the offset panel, create an offset, and then we would cut the offset to make sure that we don't have a tiny little bit of white on the edges. But like I said, you could always just use print bleed to get around that problem. I'm going to leave print bleed on when I print this just to show you how it works. The barcode section is only relevant for the Cameo 3, so I'm not going to cover it in this video as I'm going to be using a Cameo 4 for this tutorial. Before we send this to cut, we need to make sure that everything on our page is going to be printed. So we need to take a look at all of the registration marks to make sure that they are within that gray line that I mentioned earlier. So let's take a closer look and here, we can see that there is the gray line and there is the black line. So the black line is within the, the gray box. So we know that these registration marks are going to print. If the height of our page was incorrect and this section of the registration mark, as you can see here, is past the gray line, that means that it won't print on our page, which means that our Cameo won't register it properly and our print and cut won't work. So we need to make sure that we stick to the page specifications in order to get our print to register correctly. Ensuring that your page is printed correctly is also super important. You need to make sure that your settings in Silhouette Studio align with your settings in your printer and that once you've printed them out, what you have printed looks exactly the same as what you have in Silhouette Studio. Let's take a look at how to get that right. So now that we have the page set up, I'm going to print this design. So I'm going to go File, Print, and again, we come back to the print preview. I'm going to click on settings and I can see that the size here is A4 and that's what I'd selected on my page setup. If you were using an eight and a half by 11 inch page, then you can make sure that you set select yours to eight and a half by 11 inch letter size down in that section. So if that's what you're using there, but I'm using A4, so I'm going to leave mine at A4. Okay, so I'm going to then press print. The printer that I'm going to be using is a Canon TR4540 and it is already selected by default there. In order to make sure that the printer settings are all correct, we're going to go to preferences. And again, I need to make sure that I'm checking the correct printer paper size. Again, if yours was 8.5 by 11, you'd need to make sure it says letter 8.5 by 11, but I'm using A4, so I have A4 selected there. Print quality is set to high and everything else is correct. So I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to click print and we're going to print off the page. As you can see, our page is now printed using a normal Canon inkjet printer and it looks exactly the same as what it does in Silhouette Studio. We now need to take this piece of paper and put it onto our cutting mat. So I have a Silhouette cutting mat here. I'm going to take the protective backing off, which keeps the sticky part sticky. Put that to one side and I'm going to use it again later to protect the mat when I store it. So we take our page. I'm just going to put this under here just for comparison so you can see that there is a dark line on the edge. When it comes to print and cuts and having a nice registration, I want to make sure that I'm slightly covering that line when I put the page on the mat. I'm going to take the page and I'm going to line it up on the long side first as that one typically for me gives the most problems. So I need to make sure this is completely straight and covers all of the lines. You can cover the line by a millimeter or so. You really don't have to cover it by much. And then I'm just going to gently touch it down. This is a new mat, so it is very sticky. Once we have that tacked down onto the sticky mat, what I like to do is to compare what I have right here with what is on Silhouette Studio. If you're finding this content useful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Silhouette and non-Silhouette related tutorials. If you would like to support my channel, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it and have included a buy me a coffee link in the description. So here we can see that we have our mat and that we have our page set up on there. It looks almost identical to what is on the page, but I wanna take a closer look. So if I zoom in on the bottom, here is where I like to enable the grid lines just to be able to see a comparison with this as opposed to that. So I zoom in on the bottom because the bottom section is going to show you the clearest whether you have printed it correctly before you even cut it. We can see that there's a small section here at the bottom that is showing that there is nothing on the mat. And again, here there is a small section at the bottom and the L is very close to the bottom of the page. And we can see here that it is also very close to the bottom of the page. On this section of the page, 
we can see here that there is a small gap, maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe half a centimeter or so, between the last grid line on the mat and the bottom of the line here. So that's also another very good way that you can tell whether you have printed it correctly. As there we can see again, if we change the divisions to four, we can see the line is just below that first block and there it is also just below that first block. So what we have here is exactly what is on the computer screen. Once you have printed out your page, you need to make sure that you make no changes in Silhouette Studio because of course you've already printed it out. So nothing that you make change in there will reflect onto your page as it has already been printed. So now we can advance to the Cameo. Once you have your page printed, you're going to need to make sure that the Cameo registers your page correctly. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is probably the most important step to making sure that you don't waste any of your materials and that you get the right cut. Here is where we load our mat into the Cameo. So we take our mat, we make sure that we line up that section over there and that the mat sits under the rollers and we click the up arrow to load it into the Cameo. Now we can get started with the cutting section. So I'm going to go from the design panel to the send panel, which is when we send it to the Cameo. I'm going to make sure that I'm changing my material as I'm not cutting glossy vinyl, but I'm in fact cutting paper. So I'm going to change this to copy paper, medium 20 pound. And once I click send, it's going to go straight through to the Cameo. So let's hop over to that side to see what happens when I press send. So now I'm going to press send in Silhouette Studio and you will see the machine start to register. What you need to look out for is this section of your Cameo, as this is where essentially the I is that will register where these marks are. As soon as I press send, this will start to move across in a diagonal fashion across the page and it will try and find that mark. When it finds that mark, it'll scan down and it'll scan across to locate exactly where that mark is. Think of it like a GPS tracker. Then what it'll do is it will pull the page all the way down to the bottom and it will look for this mark and it'll do exactly the same thing. It'll scan down and across to essentially use its GPS to locate exactly where that mark is. And then it will scan all the way to the top and it'll do exactly the same thing with this mark. It'll scan down and then it'll scan across to make sure that it can locate this page. And what that does is it triangulates where the page is on the mat to know exactly where that is so that it can cut that out correctly. So we're going to start with this one and make sure that we watch it locate that mark. And if it doesn't locate that mark, then we know that we can stop as it will not register the page correctly. Okay, so what we saw there was a perfect registration. If at any stage during the registration it was unable to locate any of these marks, what you can do is you will see a pause button on this side, you can pause it there, or you can simply turn off your machine on the side. And this will save you from wasting an entire page. So, without further ado, let's see how the cut did. So we can see here exactly what the print bleed is. We managed to cut the star perfectly with no white edges showing, all because we have the remnants of the print on the outside of the page. And that is exactly what we want if we are wanting to make sure that there are no white sections. Now this section is a little bit of a bonus. It's about how to avoid some problems with your print and cut and some typical things that I see that people do wrong and how to solve them. If you are struggling to get your top block to register, it may be because you have left a gap in between the edge of the stickiness and the beginning of the paper. Like I mentioned at the beginning, what you need to do is make sure that the edge of this paper is just covering that little gray line and the sticky section of this mat. If this section of the paper is not registering correctly, chances are that is because what you have printed and what you have in front of you are two different things and they are not lining up correctly. The same goes with the registration mark in this corner. I'm so sorry for the glare, but do you have an entire page of teeny tiny little designs 
and you're scared that they won't cut properly, here is the best tip that I will ever give you. Make sure that when you are doing your first cut, you only cut the last design in the bottom right hand corner. This will show you instantly if your cut is incorrect and if you are not registering correctly. Because when it comes to paper like this, this is obviously quite shiny and it may need a slightly higher or a slightly lower light to register on your Cameo. So when it comes to the initial registration mark, you may need to shine a light on your Cameo to make sure that it picks this up correctly or you may need to close the lid to make sure that it is not picking up any glare from the side of the room. And that is another tip that I can give you. If you are struggling to detect this registration mark, it might be due to light. When I originally cut this page, you will see here, I did exactly that. On this design, you can see that there are a few different cut marks. And obviously this is all on the same printed page. I didn't reprint anything. I didn't change anything in Silhouette Studio. The only thing I changed between these designs and the rest of the page was how much light it took to register. I had to use a little bit more light for this one. And once I had gotten the light correct, the print and cut was perfect. As you can see, there are many, many little stickers on this page. They go right up to the border, right up to the edge. They are all very close together, which means that you can use almost the entire page when it comes to print and cut, as long as you follow the steps that I have outlined in this video. Just make sure that like we mentioned, you don't print anything in the cross hatching areas, as this is the area that the Cameo uses to detect where the lines are. So if there is anything in those areas, you will interfere with what the Cameo is picking up and that will affect how your Cameo cuts the designs. Oh, something I forgot to mention, this gorgeous holographic laser inkjet printable vinyl may or may not be coming to a retailer near you in South Africa soon. Stay tuned. If you have done everything that I've shown you in this tutorial and your print and cut is still not cutting correctly, even though it's registering properly, you may need to reset the housing. What you'll need to do is turn your Cameo off, take the housing, move it to the left side completely, move it to the right side completely, move it to the left side once again, and then move it to the right side. When you turn it back on, this is essentially recalibrating the machine and what it should do is it should then reset and you will be able to print and cut the exact same page perfectly without any problems. I hope that helps. If you're finding this information helpful, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment to let me know if I managed to help you or not. I have lots of silhouette and non-silhouette related tutorials on my channel, so subscribe for any other videos on those kinds of topics. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Remember, be kind to someone today. See you soon.